Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at the orange box, or better said, Half-Life 2 running on Xbox Series S. And I'm only gonna take Half-Life 2 in this video. So um, I've got a lot of stuff to say about this, so let's just get started. First of all, let's see how much data this uh, this whole game is, and that's 4.9 GB. Um, there is a problem with this game. Um, the only way to get this game, or still get this game, is uh, hooking up a physical Xbox 360, and you can buy it through that store not in all countries anymore i think uh, it is already been uh, discontinued in some countries uh, that said you can also try in some countries to buy it um, online on a website through your pc it's not available for sale on your xbox series s or series x so keep that in mind so if you already own this game on series s or series x be happy but otherwise it will be really hard to still get a hand on the digital version of the orange box sadly because it's amazing um the game is not optimized for new gen consoles of course uh it is a 360 title um yeah let's just start it up you guys by the way if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel means a lot for me you really helping out this channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a daily basis new games old games updates on games even a little bit of hardware here and there so yeah this this game actually came out in what 2003 so this game is what like almost 20 years old and we're still waiting on half-life 3 make it happen i know half-life alex the vr experience is somewhat okay-ish but let's be honest we, we we really need we really need this game so yeah cloud saves and it's 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 amazing I was I actually did a TikTok video on Half-Life 2 and I was so flabbergasted by this. It is 30 FPS, so keep that in mind. So if you expect a 60 FPS game, no. It's not gonna happen. It's uh Oh darn it. it is what it is. But look at these graphics you guys. This is 20 years old. And if you go to look at the how the um, these shields work, that's insane. But I want to go towards the what? I'm doing something wrong. Wait a second. Load game. Root canal. Yeah, let's pick this one. I think this one is... No? This one. I want to show you the reflections on the water in this game. These are insane. I've never seen something like this before. And this game still holds up. It's still an amazing game to play. I'm still flabbergasted by the thing. That how well this game was made. These guys at, at, at Falf, they were on a different plane of existence when they made this game. Is there any water here? No, why? I still had the wrong save. I think I, yeah, then I need to do this one. I want to show you the water, the reflections on all. It's insane what they did here. Look at this. I'm already here in the water. Look at these reflections. 
this is not ray tracing. This is actually not ray tracing. This is some kind of other stuff going on. Can you see? It's actually a 100% re representation of everything you see upstairs. Look at this. These reflections look better than 90% of the games that use ray tracing reflections. Look at this. That's insane. I was completely flabbergasted by this. Everything has a reflection. Okay, it, it, there are definitely some things that feel like a 20-year-old game. Yeah, 100%. This is the part I did a tic-tac on. Tic-tac, tic-tac. And no, I'm not asking you to follow me because I actually don't really like TikTok. <laughs> but how did they do this? Insane. Completely insane. Um, yeah, let's just get back. By the way, these loading times on the SSD are in also insane. This is station eight. <laughs> Let's get back to where I was. Let's get some action done. Use the mounted gun. Go. This is a pretty hard part of the game, by the way. Here we go. Also, everything, everything works in this game. How did they do this? Definitely on a different level when they made this game. This is like, it's almost like magic. Holy moly does this look good. This is insane. One of the best looking games I ever played. And it's... What? How many years old? <laughs> hey, who's that? I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep Even these character alive. models, they still hold up to this. 20 years ago, this game came out. We didn't even know, knew what a smartphone was back then. We were still rocking the place with Nokia 3310s. Also these ref... Oh, this is insane. Look at this. Real time... Shadows. Why, why don't we use this engine? Well, I'm completely uh, lost. We should be using this engine way more. Oh, darn it. Ah, 
how do I get out of here? Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, come on. This is amazing. Really, really an amazing game. And it was its time way, way, way. These guys that made this game, they, they lived in the future. Gorgeous! Sometimes you're really searching on where to go in this game. Did you get up here? Yeah. I have no idea. Maybe somewhere here? Probably missed something. I need to, do I need to pick up something? Oh, here are some boxes. Uh, let's see. You never know. Ah, uh, I think I just need to go through here. bowling but the achievements by the way are in super cool in this game they have like 100 achievements or something you can get or 99 i think it is let's go check it out yeah 99 achievements <laughs> that's a lot But yeah, you guys, this is Half-Life 2 running on Xbox Series S. Just like I said, um, it is really hard to come by. If you can get your hands on it, uh, it's like 20 euros or something. And it's amazing. They should make a remake or a remaster or whatever. We want a new Half-Life game. I really want to thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.